The summer season is usually hot, but weather can change in these forests quickly. The trees sway and gusty winds clean off the dry leaves from trees. Raindrops start to fall. That soon turns into a downpour. An hour of heavy rain and the forests get a good wash. The result is a magical transformation. The newly formed ponds and streams buzz with life. Insects and small fishes get busy in their expanded homes. They are more than happy to explore new frontiers of their world. With the dust washed off by the rains, the forest appears brighter, greener, even as the roads get slushier. A collared dove is sighted in the middle of the road but it soon flies away. This transformation of the forest gives wildlife enthusiasts a new high as they wade through a wet forest land. The forest comes alive with birds. The Indian roller watches the surroundings as it waits for the rains to completely recede. The strewn dry leaves add to the rusty look of the forest even as it continues to drizzle. A female langur with its infant rests in the ground, perhaps hoping for the sun to come out. Birds are known to come to the roads to pick up insects and worms that come out from beneath the mud. Out in the forest floor walks a bird that is often not sighted. It's a stocky brown ground bird with big eyes. It's the Indian stone curlew or the thick knee. This bird's legs are stout and are thick the knees and hence the name thick knee. The bird's eyes are yellow. The Indian stone curlew moves around normally at dawn and dusk. It's difficult to sight these birds as during daytime they stand still among the bushes. In the Indian subcontinent, with the advent of rains, one beautiful bird comes to mind. The Indian peafowl or the blue peafowl. The males are called peacock, which is known to dance with its spectacular wings spread to impress the peahen. That's their way of claiming their mating rights. The peacock can fly only short distances. This one's feathers are wet from the rains as it moves in the forest. Peacocks generate a variety of sounds including a high-pitched alert that warns animals of a lurking predator. The peacock lives on berries and also preys on snakes, lizards and rodents. The top of tree canopy usually houses birds of prey like this white-eyed buzzard. This bird is a medium-sized hawk and has a white iris. White-eyed buzzard feed mainly on locusts, grasshoppers, crickets, and other large insects. Woodpeckers are busy tree-dwelling birds. Here is a greater flameback woodpecker. It disappears to the other side of the park and flies away.
A bird that looks similar to a woodpecker but forages on the ground is the hoopoe. As it moves through the forest floors, its crest opens displaying a beautiful semicircular shape. The cloudy conditions soon give away to the evening sun. With mist around, the forest appears mystical. In the quiet depths of these mystical forests, Wild boars roam freely. Wild boars always go around in groups. These two are busy foraging the forest floors. One of them checks the jeep to assess if it's a threat. Unsure, it thinks of a safer option of retreating into deeper forests. With winding roads, Tadoba forests have junction points like this one between Pandarpawni and Ainbodi. These antlers must have been of some male sambar who would have challenged many opponents in his lifetime. The junction points are a good place to stop to hear voice of the jungle, especially birds. In Tadoba, Naturalists and bird watchers are spoiled for choice when it comes to birding. Of all birds, the most beautiful ones to hear is the common hawk cuckoo. Its tweet is melodious. But the bird doesn't stop there. It changes scale like an opera singer as it goes from low to a high pitch. Naturalists experience bliss in just hearing several beautiful sounds. Trees provide an abode for birds and many a times birds cannot be spotted. They can only be heard. <laughs> <laughs> 